Imagine being on a routine survey for a water supply upgrade and stumbling upon a hidden treasure from the past, what would you do? In the vibrant city of Naples, Italy, a team of archaeologists encountered just such a scenario. While conducting a routine survey of the land for a water supply system upgrade they made an unexpected discovery. Hidden beneath a slab of tuff, a type of rock made of volcanic ash, they found a sealed entrance. An entrance that led to a stunning chamber tomb untouched for millennia. The tomb, a stunning encapsulation of history, was a silent secret resident of the city, waiting patiently to share its stories. Initial assessments of this extraordinary find, suggest that it has been lying dormant for approximately 2,000 years, a time capsule from the Republican and Imperial Roman ages. This wasn't just any tomb, it was a tomb with walls adorned with vivid frescoes of mythological scenes. Imagine the surprise of the archaeologists as they uncovered these vibrant colorful paintings, each one a window into the past and a testament to the artistic prowess of a civilization long gone. The frescoes were not just decorative, they were narrative, telling tales of mythical figures from Greek mythology. Among the many figures depicted there were ichthyocentaurs, curious creatures who were half-human and half-fish, but the most striking of all was the depiction of Cerberus, the infamous three-headed dog that guarded the underworld. The sight of this fearsome creature, also known as the Hound of Hades, must have been an awe-inspiring moment for the team. This tomb, now aptly named the Tomb of Cerberus, has become a symbol of a day that started as routine, but ended in a historical revelation. It was a day when a simple survey for a water supply upgrade became a journey into the past, unearthing a hidden treasure that had been waiting for 2,000 years to be discovered. Little did the surveyors know their day at work would turn into a thrilling historical revelation. As archaeologists cautiously entered the tomb, they were welcomed by a stunning sight. The chamber, a silent witness to 2,000 years of history, held its breath, guarding the tales of a time long past. The walls, vibrant and alive with color, were adorned with frescoes of mythological scenes, frozen in time yet pulsating with ancient narratives. The frescoes were a magnificent spectacle, a vivid tableau of Greek mythology. Among the depicted figures were the ichthyocentaurs, mythical creatures of the sea, half-human and half-fish. These unusual beings, often overlooked in mainstream myths, were a captivating sight, their scales shimmering in the tomb's subdued light. However, the most formidable presence in the room had to be Cerberus, the three-headed dog that guarded the underworld. Known as the Hound of Hades, this fearsome creature was portrayed in all its terrifying glory, its three heads snarling a silent yet potent warning to all who dared to approach the gates of the underworld. Yet the most striking fresco was of Heracles, the legendary hero known for his strength and courage. The image depicted his final task, a daring feat that few could ever dream of accomplishing. Heracles was shown in the act of capturing Cerberus, wrestling the ferocious beast into submission and dragging it to the surface. The raw power and determination etched on his face were a testament to his legendary status, a heroic figure who dared to challenge the underworld itself. These vivid frescoes, a feast for the eyes, were not just mere decorations, they were narratives, stories etched in pigment and plaster, recounting tales of heroes and mythical creatures that echoed through the ages. The tomb, a silent storyteller, whispered these tales to the archaeologists, its voice echoing in the hushed awe of the onlookers. The tomb's grandeur and preserved condition left everyone in awe, earning it the name Tomb of Cerberus. This chamber, a time capsule of sorts, offered a glimpse into a world veiled by the mists of time, a world of heroes, mythical beasts and timeless tales waiting to be told. Unearthing a discovery of this magnitude was not just another day at work for the archaeologists. For these scholars and workers it was a moment of elation, a sudden rush of adrenaline, a realization that they had stumbled upon something truly extraordinary. The thrill of the find was palpable as Valentina Russo, one of the archaeologists on the team so vividly described. The excitement was enormous, she confessed. Just imagine the scene, the screams echoing across the excavation site, hugs exchanged in the thrill of the moment. Finding something like this doesn't happen every day, Russo added, her words underscoring the rarity and significance of their discovery. The Superintendent of Archaeology, Fine Arts and Landscape for the Naples Metropolitan Area, echoed this sentiment in a press announcement. The discovery was lauded as unprecedented, the tomb's frescoed ceilings and walls in perfect condition. 
the mythological scenes etched around the room, the figurative representations, the three-headed dog standing out among them, all formed a stunning tableau of ancient art and mythology. The tomb they announced was more than just a final resting place. It was a canvas that bore the vibrant strokes of ancient Rome's culture and beliefs. But the discovery didn't just stop at the frescoes. The tomb also held an altar with vessels for libations, and the deceased were still placed on the funeral beds with rich objects. These finds painted a vivid picture of ancient Roman funerary customs, adding another layer of intrigue to this already fascinating discovery. The discovery of the tomb of Cerberus was more than just an archaeological triumph. It was a moment of shared joy and astonishment, a testament to the enduring allure of the past and the thrill of unearthing its secrets. For the archaeologists and workers who participated in the survey, this was more than just an exciting find. It was a day filled with joy, astonishment, and a deep sense of fulfillment for those who unearthed this historical gem. The discovery was just the beginning. The real work had just started. Unearthing the Tomb of Cerberus was indeed a monumental moment, but this was merely the curtain raiser for a far more detailed and meticulous task. The excavation of the tomb is still ongoing, a process that requires not just technical expertise but also a good deal of patience and precision. The archaeologists are not merely digging through the soil, they are peeling back the layers of time, revealing secrets that have been buried for 2,000 years. Each day at the site is a journey into the past, a chance to touch history, and an opportunity to learn more about the lives and beliefs of those who walked the earth before us. The tomb is not an isolated find, it is part of a larger necropolis, a city of the dead that sprawls out around it. This necropolis holds the remains of countless individuals, each with their own story to tell. The archaeologists hope to learn more about this community of the departed, to understand who these people were and how they lived their lives. Excavation is a delicate process, a balance between the need for discovery and the respect for the sanctity of the resting place. The archaeologists tread lightly, treating each artifact with the care and reverence it deserves. They document every find, analyze every detail, and preserve every piece of history they uncover. The tomb itself is a treasure trove of information. The frescoes on the walls are not just beautiful works of art, but also a window into the beliefs and mythology of the time. The archaeologists hope to decipher these images, to understand their meaning and the message they were meant to convey. Every day at the site brings new discoveries, new insights, and new questions. The archaeologists are not just digging for artifacts, they are digging for knowledge, for understanding and for a deeper connection with our shared past. They are piecing together a historical puzzle, one find at a time. And so, as the sun rises each day over the excavation site, the work continues, the soil is turned, the past is revealed, and the story of the tomb of Cerberus unfolds. Every day brings new discoveries adding more pieces to the historical puzzle. So, why does this discovery matter, you might ask? Well, let's delve into that. The uncovering of the tomb of Cerberus is not merely an archaeological find, it's akin to unearthing a time capsule that takes us back 2,000 years to the Republican and Imperial Roman ages. This discovery, found unexpectedly beneath a tough slab, presents an extraordinary view into the past, shedding light on an era rich in culture, art, and mythology. The tomb, in its exceptional state of preservation, offers an invaluable glimpse into the artistic prowess of the Romans. The vivid frescoes adorning the walls and ceilings of the chamber are more than just visual splendor. They are a testament to the aesthetic sensibilities and technical skills of the artists of that age. The intricate depictions of mythological figures like the Ichthyocentaurs and Cerberus, the Hound of Hades, serve as visual narratives, telling tales of heroism, adventure and divine intervention. Moreover, this discovery provides us with a rare insight into the Romans' spiritual beliefs and their perceptions of life and death. The striking fresco of Heracles's final task, for instance, not only illustrates a well-known myth but also reflects the Romans' fascination with the afterlife and the underworld. The tomb, with its painted clean eye and an altar for libations, paints a vivid picture of their burial customs and rituals. But perhaps the most significant aspect of this discovery is its potential to unravel more about the necropolis that surrounds the tomb and the people who were laid to rest there. The rich objects found alongside the deceased indicate a society that revered its dead and believed in equipping them for their journey into the afterlife. In conclusion, the discovery of the tomb of Cerberus 
is a significant step forward in our understanding of the Roman world. It's not just an archaeological find, it's a vibrant canvas that depicts a bygone era, its people, their beliefs, and their artistic expressions. The tomb of Cerberus isn't just a historical artifact, it's a time capsule narrating tales from a world that existed 2,000 years ago.